Scuba. Hey, what's up, man? Yes, I know, I know. Munich's right around the corner. I'm taking this serious. I wish you could see me right now. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get my training started. Deutschland? Ich komme. Germany is world famous for its style, culture, and innovation. Founded in the 1100s, it's an amazing mix of old and new, and the same can be said for street league skateboarding. Today, the two worlds collide inside Olympic Park Munich, a historic Olympic sports site, and the next stop on the 2017 SLS Nike SB World Tour. And thanks for tuning in. I'm Paul Zitzer alongside Jeff Rowley, and the finals are about to begin. Guess what? Nigel Houston is skating in his 33rd final, going for his 18th win. He's coming off a win at the Pro Open in Barcelona, and incredibly, that is not even the biggest story of the night here tonight. Jeff, tell us about these new kids. Oh, man, I mean, these new kids are coming in so dang hot. Yuta Aragomi's an amateur. Young kid, amateur. We have two amateurs in the finals here today. Put together some crazy rail combinations. We've got really good scores. And then you have our number one qualifier, which is Deshaun Jordan. Qualifying first, same heat. Both of those guys in the same heat as Nigel Houston. And they put the heat on him. The question is, can they do it again right now? We're going to find out. But first, let's throw it to the third member of our team, Andrew Cannon. Thanks, Paul. Right now, I'm standing here with the man in first place going to the finals. How are you feeling? How are you handling this pressure with such heavy hitters all around you? Um, I mean, this is definitely like a test for me, like to see how I can keep together, because I sometimes get in my head and I can blow things easily while doing that. But I mean, I'm just worrying about me, not really worrying about anybody else and not letting, you know, the skill of everybody else like get to me in my head, because it's already like, pretty, uh, you know, there that everybody is gnarly, and these are some of the gnarliest dudes in the, the whole contest, so it's just about just staying focused and just believing in myself and just, like, being confident the whole time, so. Well, good luck, Deshaun. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Nigel Houston and Louis Lopez. You see those two guys in gold? They're already in the Super Crown with golden tickets. Shane O'Neill looking good. Kelvin Hoffler in third. He's in the final tonight. Carlos Ribeiro. He is just in ninth place, and he's in the final tonight. He's got, he's got some room to improve on his race to the Super Crown. Chris Joslin and Tori Pudwell down in 14th and 15th. They, too, are going to bump up the ranks. So the, the story tonight, Jeff, coming out of the prelims, Nigel Houston, we talked about him. He's been in every single final he's ever skated in street league. He was looking good in prelims, not as polished as we've seen him in the past, but it's it's all about the new kids turning the screws, putting the heat on the vets. I think that level with the, those new kids is kind of really bringing some new blood, some new tricks to the event and putting the heat on guys like Nigel and everybody to keep pushing, keep promoting, and keep progressing skateboarding. It's a good thing. Agreed. So it's going to be interesting to see how these guys hold up in the finals. They did. They both did well in the Pro Open, but this is a different environment in the arena here in Munich. So let's meet our skaters in the finals tonight. Kelvin Hoffler, he missed all of last year due to injury. He skated one event, but barely. He was the 2015 Super Crown champ in his rookie year. He's looking good this year. Um, one of my faves right here, Tori Pudwell. Great attitude, absolutely ripped it up in the prelims. Two th great 2014 season, he's back on track. It's great to see Tori in the finals. And Carlos Ribeiro out of Brazil qualified in through the 2016 Tampa Pro. He got 10th in May in Barcelona at the Pro Open. This is his second year on the circuit. Ready to rip. And talk about skills, mad skills right here. Miles Silvis. 
coming from Sacramento, second most demanded SLS pro from the fans behind Joslin. That tells you something. It tells you a lot. And Chris Joslin making it into the final here tonight on his last and final best trick attempt in the prelims. Everybody loves Joslin, and you're going to see why in a moment if you don't already know. And here's the man of the hour right here, Yuto Origomi, 18 years old, still an amateur. He had third place at the Pro Open in 2017 from Tokyo, Japan. He's a guy that we're going to see really shake things up tonight, I think. And what don't we know about Nigel Houston? He was the first champion in 2010 in SLS. He won the Super Crown in 2012. He swept the entire 2014 series. He's coming off a win at the Pro Open. He's on fire. Absolutely on fire. And then we have Deshaun Jordan, 20 years old, from Chandler, Arizona, which is just on the edge of Phoenix. Great skate scene out there. He won the 2016 Tampa Ram and the 2017 Pro Open. Let's take a look at how this contest works. These are the basics presented by Nike SB. There are two sections to Street League, the run section and best trick. Each skater gets two 45 second runs and five best trick attempts. The top four scores regardless of section count and are tallied to give the skaters their final score. The closer you get to a 40, the better off you are. I'm ready to go. The crowd is packed in here. It's about 100 degrees in here. So if you see people sweating, they didn't turn the AC on, but it's a good vibe. Kelvin Hoffler is going to be the first skater in. 45 seconds, his first run of two. And here we go. This is the finals. Nice nose button. Hops it fakey, half cap blunt. That's an interesting combo. Is that cap oh, back tail? Wow. How's that to shake things up? Let's get this party started. Great tricks, but I will say, not quite the same kind of speed and covering the same amount of the course as some of the other dudes. I think you're right, but he makes up for it with difficulty and strategy. He's like a master strategist. That's right. He knows how to play the game, and he's doing it right now. It'll fall towards the end, and that nothing else will count. Out of time. That's going to hurt. And there's the slow-mo on that cab to back tail fakie. Didn't lock the tail in, hit the truck. Kept rolling. Fakie nose, front side, ooh, half cab nose slide. And there's that kick flip back side lip slide. Lots of technical tricks in that run, spread them out. That'll get a good score, 7.8. 7.8 is a really high score. Great start. Something to work with for Kelvin. And t Puds coming in next. It's been an SLS Pro since 2010. No wins for t Puds. That could change tonight. He's skating great this weekend. He is skating great in the prelims. He came out like nothing, just full speed. Made all of his tricks, great run, great single tricks, very consistent. That's the Tory that we want to see right there. Always a fun dude, great character, excellent personality, and you see that in his skateboarding too. That's why he's one of the fans' favorite. People are screaming for him right now. Yeah, Tory, get that together. Hold it down, you have 15 seconds. Backside wow. nose bump slide. Hey, he is, he is focused. Six seconds, ended off with a basic. Oh, no. How about <laughs> no? How about shut down the commentator right there? People yeah. grind to back lip. There you go. t Puds, it's so great to see him back out here. He missed all of 2016 due to injury, and he is back. There's that fire. long backside tail slide trick that Tori's well known for. Locks it in, and then there's that frontside kick lip. Smash to lip slide. Just hanging in there. Crowd went wild on that, an 8.7. What a great start. Huge start for Tori, and he is psyched. Up next, let's talk about the pylon. Let me talk about how this thing works. Below the skater's name are the run section and best trick tabs. The top four scores will be shown in white, and the drop scores will show up in gray. Below that is the leaderboard. The current skater's name is highlighted in white, and after their attempt, their name will be in gray until they skate again. 
The leaderboard will update after every single score. And then finally on the bottom tab, you'll see what score the skater needs for the lead. And if they can't take the lead, you'll see the highest placing they can get with a score. That's the pylon. Pretty basic. You'll figure it out. Next in, Carlos Ribeiro. He got into SLS at the 2016 Tampa Pro. So this is his second year as an SLS Pro. He got 10th place at the Pro Open, and he's coming in for his first run of two. Smooth backside Smith grind. Is that Nolly Crooked grind all the way down? Carlos has got a great style, man. Doesn't compress his legs a lot, just keeps things steady and smooth moving forward. That's why he's in the finals. Looks like he's gearing up for that hover. And there's that Nolly when he knows kind. Wow, he pulled that one back. That's what the finals will do to you here at SLS. They'll make you do things you wouldn't usually do. And you better, right? That's you how better. we progress skateboarding. We go way out of our comfort zone. That's sometimes right. we get away from it, sometimes we go down. And it's amazing to do it in front of a crowd like this. These German fans are hyped. Oh, absolutely. We've got a packed crowd. Nolly went on any rose grind. You see, just pulls that back. And then there's that just nice overcrook all the way. Look how relaxed oh. he looked in his face. He looked like he was just about ready to chill out. Hands down. Making it look easy. 8.4 for Carlos. Putting up big scores early. Next skater in is Miles Silvis. Jeff, this is your dark horse pick for the weekend. Making the cut, presented by Monster Energy. Goes to Miles Silvis. Congratulations. He is skating in his first SLS final here tonight. Let's see how he does. Good for him, man. He's skating great on the street. Let's see if he can adapt and hit the street course. And Get on one of the top spots in this finals. There's a nolly front crook, front side crook into a nolly straight crook. Nice little combination there. Shows front side and backside ability. That's what I said in the prelims with him. He, he does a, a, a good mix of fakey, nolly, switch. And hits a little bit of everything. Really favoring that hover with some crazy tricks. Switch tail slide. Got 14 seconds, gonna have to end with a banger to really get one of those super high scores. Keeps it clean with a front side feeble. Good tactics though, good tactics, warm it up. And that won't count, that was right on the buzzer I don't think. But showing the great line, real smooth, putting together some good combos. So you see why Miles Silvis is here in the finals. Look at that. That's Miles chilling, that's the thing. Yeah. That's just a chilling run, just to warm the legs up, switch backside tail slide. Score of 8.2. Wow. Three scores up in the eights in a row. I am sweating. This is absolutely nuts out here. And we're just getting underway here in Munich. This is the finals. Still to come, Nigel Houston and the rookie, Deshaun Jordan. Number one qualifier coming up after this. Street League Skateboarding Nike SB World Tour Munich is presented by Nike SB. And we are at the Nike SB World Tour Munich stop. Look at this beautiful course. It doesn't mean it's easy, but for more on it, let's go to the Street Skate presented by Nike SB. The Munich course is 163 feet long and 48 feet wide. It's a more technical course with the main stair sets around the height of a six stair with 11 foot long hubbas on either side. The two rails are 32 feet long and the fatty to flatty launcher on the raised area means gapping over a five foot quarter pipe. There's also no way just to roll up or down the main section and skaters will be forced to flip their boards over a bank to bank gap or find another creative way up. And on the far side of the course, there's an extended roll-in for extra speed, but what really sets this course apart is the center feature, which has a concave ledge and rail set over the top of manual pads, as well as a long roller coaster rail and a dish hubba combo ledge. The more creative the approach here, the better. And then finally, a quarter pipe and banks round out this absolutely incredible Munich course. Taking another look there at the course, we have 
Four skaters left with run number one here in the finals. Next up, Chris Joslin. 2016 was his rookie year. He made it to the Super Crown. He's trying to get back there. Oh, just gets away from him. We have a packed crowd here tonight. Skate fans in Germany. Great to see. And they are psyched on the level of skateboarding that they're seeing. This is the best skateboarding in the world right now. These guys are absolutely annihilating the street course. Especially this dude. Kick the front side board slide. He can make anything. 14 seconds. Hitting it. Oh, doesn't quite get the flip on the switch front side flip. Not quite a heavy hit and score, I don't think, for the first run here for Chris. Hey, we know he can make it up in best trick. He did that in the prelims, getting in on his last try. He's looking for his first win. There's that big spin kick flip. Very, very well executed, and there's that kick flip gap to front side board slide. So it gets a couple of pretty technical tricks in there. But not enough, score no. is in 5.1. That puts Joslin in fifth place for now. Next in, rookie. He's not even pro, he's am. It's Yuto Horigome from Japan. He's looking like he's a pro straight away. He's handling this thing, no problem. Right, I think that am status is gonna change quick. Well, he knows he can do it, right? He got into the finals in one of the top spots. Right, he finished in Barcelona in third place. He's back in the finals, back to back. Look at him, doing it again. Got all those textbook rail tricks. And he's playing it smith pretty smart too, but he isn't covering the whole course. I will say that, but he's a young skateboarder. He's gonna keep progressing, keep developing. There's that backside 360. The crowd's feeling it. Crowd's stoked on him. He's a young kid. He's an amateur. He's in the biggest contest in the world in front of all fans that he's grew up, skateboarders that he's grown up idolizing. It's heavy. No wonder the crowd recognizes that. Good for him. Look at the focus. Mm. There's that 360 judo. Wow, and he starts off with an 8.9. That is huge. Okay, so after most of the guys in the first heat, first runs. So Yuto is right moving up there. straight up into first place in his first run. But we have a lot of heavy skating yet to come. Nigel Houston on deck. What, what more needs to be said? Let's see what he can do in his first run of two. Well, I think he knows he's got to skate to the best of his ability in this one. A lot of guys skating really well here today. And it's a good course. It looks like it's been good for everybody. He's up long kick of Rory hanging in there. What a recovery. Yeah. Back seven, eight, nose grind. 20 seconds, still hustling too. He knows that if he keeps moving, he's going to get an extra couple of tricks, which makes those scores go up. He knows how to play the game. Fit in every single SLS final. <laughs> Except for one, and he, do, he wasn't in that event, so yeah. He nice. knows grind all the way down. Quick back, Smith Reaver. Wow, that was a lot of tricks. Hey, what can you say? Can you compare Nigel's run to Yuto's run, and where would you place it? I think Nigel did a little bit more, extra, more tricks. He skated a little bit faster, covered a little bit more of the course. And he gets a 9.0, and I think rightfully so. Straight out the gate with a nine for Nigel Houston. There's that fakey over crooks, which was a quick recovery from that blunt kick flip, and then you have that kick flip to front board. And then that long, flat nose grind down the rail to end off that first run. Nine club for Nigel. Think about Deshaun Jordan is up next. Talk about pressure. He's in the final for the second time in a row, just like Uto, but he qualified in here in first, and he's following up a nine. And he just watched Uto get an 8.9, and Nigel then get a nine. 
It's got to be sweat. We'll see how he handles it right now. Whoa. Is that a make? That uh, might be a it was make. something. More than nothing. Quick frontside 270 lift. He wants it, man. If you're going to do well in SLS, you have to really want it. You know what I mean? You have to control all of that pressure and skate to the best of your ability if you want to stand a chance against these guys. There's no half step in it. It's full steps. Switch front side button. Nice shaky run for him here. Kind of not really flowing too good like we see when he gets those first couple of combinations. Understandable. Understandable. It's a huge crowd. He's the last skater to go. And he's a young skater and still young an amateur. Kid. We're still going to see that progression coming as, as time flies by. And there's a switch frontside blunt. That first trick, first run didn't really help help this flow. Ended it out nicely. Remember the top four scores overall count, so you can blow both your runs. And that wraps up attempt number one here in the finals with Nigel to Houston breaking down the nine club barrier early on. So stick around, attempts at number two in the runs coming up next. Welcome back to the SLS Nike SB World Tour here in Munich. We have one of the most unique courses in SLS history here this weekend. And here's Carlos Ribeiro to walk us through it. What up guys, this is Carlos Ribeiro. We are here in Munich, this is the 2017 course. I'm gonna give you a little tour in the park. Let's get it. So we got this wavy flat bar right here, this wavy manual pad with a little box right here. You'll see people hitting it like up and down the ledge right there. We got this uh, curved flat bar, it seems pretty fun. The curves make, makes it a little sketchy, but uh, it's actually more fun, you know? Makes you uh, grind more of your stuff. We got a wave flat ledge right here, it's pretty fun too. I seen Tiago getting tech on it earlier today. We have the Euro gap right here in the middle, it's pretty nice. The boost is really good. We got this little double set right here, three flat trick, pretty nice and small. Perfect hub on the side, mellow, and a rail too. Round, mellow, I like that. Same thing right here, three flat three, nice hub on back side for regular. Nice rail right there, same thing as the other side. We got the quarter pipe there, I see people flying off it and landing in the bank. It's pretty fun. People go actually very high in the sky. I seen uh, the Sansa doing an all cab, I was impressed. This park is fun, dude. I think this is uh, the best park so far. I'm actually having a lot of fun. I better get back in there. See you guys later. Take a look at the current standings here tonight. Nigel Houston up in first place with a perfect nine, followed by Yuta Horigome and t -Puds running out the top three. Carlos Ribeiro gave us the tour. He's in fourth place. Big things still to come. Golden ticket goes to the winner and will end up in, at the Super Crown. Nigel Houston already has that golden ticket. We're going to throw it down to Andrew Cannon. What you got, Andrew? Well, with one run under our belts, it is definitely a battle of veterans versus rookies. We got Nigel Houston right now in the top spot. He was sandwiched in there, moving into the finals between Deshaun Jordan in the lead and Yuto Horigomi, who's currently sitting in second place. So we've got one more run and five attempts left. This final is going to be gnarly. Back to you guys. Hey, good call, Andrew. I think you're right. It's already been gnarly. It's only going to continue. Well, let's see Second what kind runs. of juice everybody has left. You right. know? Well, they better save it because they have one run left each and then five best trick attempts. Top four scores count overall. Winner goes to the Super Crown. This guy I know wants to return there, 2015 Super Crown champ. Missed pretty much all of last year, and he's back on fire in 2017. This is Kelvin Hoffman. Same quick combo, taking the same run as last time. Probably just trying to improve upon that. The question is, how's he going to improve upon that? What's he going to throw in the bag? He's got so many tricks. How about a nollie? Late one foot. <laughs> Take the back lift. Wow, he's getting them in. Hard to get the speed coming that way up, the way he went also. Oh. Take the no, fakey. That was big. 
This one's going to wipe out his other score. <laughs> Boneless. Old school flirt, baby. An interesting choice. Kick flip from Bond. That was a banging run. That's going to get a great score. Let's see how the judges handle that one. Cover the whole course. Lots of one-two combos. Flipping in, flipping out, spinning around. Pretty much doing it all, including the frontside boneless. There's that kick flip from Blunt, 8.4. Crowd feels like he should have got a little bit higher score, I think. So Kelvin came into that run in sixth place, gets the 8.4. He's in first for now, but he's the only skater with two scores. T Puds coming in next. He's in fourth place, needs a 7.6 to take the lead. Wow, look how casual that Nolly frontside kick clip was. I like to see it when Tori's on point. It's so fun to watch. Oh, oh man. He has one of the best backside tail slides in skateboarding. Every combination of them, too. Every flip in, flip out, frontside and backside lip slide, Tori's got them down. Oh, that was going to be one right there, that kick clip frontside lip slide. Rode a little too close to the rail before he popped that one. You have to kind of do it real far away from the rail. Get way over the top. Just lost that flow. Hopefully, Tori stays positive through that. For a great first run. All smiles. T Pud in fourth with the 8.7. Needs a 7.6. It's going to be tough to get it with a few falls. 2.7. That's low. That's extremely low did right there. Did he even take a run just did, now? Did, did the judges even see him skate? <laughs> he did something. Judges, I'm talking to you. <laughs> get, right. on, get on it. Carlos Ribeiro, he gave us the tour. Now he's here to give us some tricks. Well, all these guys are in this final for a reason. They're absolute rippers and looking pretty casual too. A lot of confidence going on. I think people really feel in this course. As you saw Carlos explain moments ago. He's already got an 8.4 on the board. There's that Nolo 180 fakey nose grind. Which I've yet to see in bail. That overcrug, oh, oh, almost transfer. lost that weight and just decided to pull it over. It's very difficult to transfer like that. I hope the judges note those little tiny indifferences. Carlos coming in in fifth place. There's that Nolly Crooker grind hop out in the concave ledge. Nolly 180 fakey nose grind. No problem. That's a good score for Carlos. Won't beat his other score, but that's still a good one to put on the leaderboard. He's got an 8.4 and an 8.2. We don't know what's going to happen, but he's in a good position. He is in a great position. Miles Silva's coming in for his second run and his first ever SLS final. There's a two quick crooked grind combos again, front side and back side. Nolly into the first one, Nolly into the second one. Backside Nelson, oh, that's it, lost that flow. Coming up an 8.2, which is a great score in the run section. Big for 50 50. I think he's just looking up at how much time he has. He's going to have to squeeze this one on a little bit faster, or he's going to run out of time. Four seconds. And this will not count. Quick, big spin. Still looking confident out there, looking strong. It's hard to judge the clock, especially when you haven't skated in this setting before. Time out of run perfectly to 45 seconds. And especially when you miss that one trick, it's hard to go, oh, I just lost five or six seconds. Make that up on the end with this trick. You have to think fast. Guys that win this contest or do well in this contest regularly, their brain works like that. They're one step ahead of everything. Miles score is in 7.2, so not a bad score. Moves him up into third place. So just four more run attempts left to go. 
Nike SB wants you to upload your best trick clips to Instagram for a chance to be featured on their website. So get on it. Show yourself in action and tag them with Nike SB or hashtag check me SB. We're in the second runs here in the finals in Munich. Nigel Houston put down a 9.0 in his first run. Yuto Origome with the 8.9. It's the youth versus the veterans. Their second runs coming up next. Stick around. Welcome back to the Nike SB World Tour Munich. This is attempt number two in the run section. Chris Joslin just barely made it on his last trick attempt in the prelims to get here. Here we go, 45 seconds. That's an interesting setup right there. All in over the flat bank into the quarter pipe. Just misses that tray flip. Currently in eighth place with a 5.1 in his first run. He's got work to do. Yes, he does. I have a feeling he's going to have to make up for this in the best trick section. He usually doesn't have a problem with that. Yeah, big spin kick flip. Beautiful. Another guy that's really fun to watch, really exciting. You never know what he's going to do. He does freestyle his run a lot, kind of like Luan will do that. Miss a trick, land somewhere else, and make it up with a trick that you never saw coming. Looks like he's gearing up, and he's not going to get this. This is strictly for the crowd. Whoa. <laughs> Primo catch. And he, how did he roll away from that? He kick flip. He's Chris Primo the board and then kept yeah. rolling. That's that big spin kickflip. Again, a little bit sketchy all the way through there. And a nice tight, compact frontside kickflip. But looking a little sketchy on a couple of those tricks. I think the heat's getting to him. Hopefully he saves some of that energy for the best trick. 5.4. Chris Joslin in fifth, but he's going to have to go to best trick. Yuto Horigome is in, run number two. Try. I'm thinking truck like that or that. That's what I like to see right there. Going for it. That's how you win this contest. Nice big spin fake, board slide fakey. Taking some cues from Niger there, hustling. Ten seconds. All the heel flip, no slide. And this is going to be his last trick. Quick bow, quick backside nose blunt. Didn't quite get that weight where he wanted it to be. Great run, though. Yuto only needs a 7.8 to move into the lead. Carlos Ribeiro in that number one spot with a 16.6 .6 overall. There's that big air time. Crowd goes wild for that one. Oh, they love the back three. Crowd stoked on this dude, man. They're really getting behind him. Nolly heel flip, nose slide. Good to see a young kid doing so well, so positive. 8.0, there you go. Yuto back in the lead with a 16.9 overall score. Carlos Ribeiro in second. Rounding out the top three is Kelvin Hoffler. And Nigel Houston is on deck. He needs an 8.0 for first. He got a nine in his first run, so let's see it. Whoa, oh. just pulls that one around, starting off with two. Early basic flip tricks. Putting the pressure on himself right there. Gap the backside Smith. Long kick flip. Getting a lot of tricks. Three or four flip tricks so far. A couple of rail combos, ledge combo. That's how he gets high scores like that. He really does hit a lot of the obstacles. He doesn't cruise around them like some guys do, but he speeds it up and hustles and gets in those tricks all in those different spots of the course. Guys could take note on that one. Nose grind pop out. Kick flip, back flip gets away, and that will be right on the buzzer. It looked like he popped his tail after the buzzer. So technically, if he did, that would not count as a fall. What do you think, Paul? That's his second run. There's that tray flip that he barely squeaked through with. 
What do you think? Is that going to beat his first run? It's right there in the neighborhood. I think the difference being, though, even though that fall was after time, it's kind of like it leaves that, that something left to be done. Oh, there's a score, 8.8. .8. Because you know he wanted that last trick and he didn't get it in there. So there you go, 8.8. .8. Nigel Houston in the lead. Uto getting bumped down to second. Deshaun Jordan is in for his second of two runs. He's coming in in eighth place. Oh, there's that 360 flip lip slide. 270 lip slide. Okay, gets those first two combo. That's confidence building. Two technical rail tricks. He's already getting really good scores. And then, whoa, Bigger. a bigger flip to Fakie. Whoa. Down. Oh, slams on the Blum Fakie. How do you slam on the Blum Fakie after that bigger flip? You know how? You're in SLS finals. Yeah, you can. And you're an amateur. <laughs> and he's still smashing it. Switch frontside blunt slide. Backside nose guard. Again, getting a lot of tricks in. Him, Nigel, and Yuta really hustling those tricks in these runs. That'll be after and the buzzer. That's not going to count, oh, fortunately. It counts in the hearts and minds of this German crowd. That is for sure. That was for the skateboard fans out there in Germany. Seeing some new blood on the scene in the finals right there. Deshaun's got to feel great about that run. He can look back at it and say, why did I bail the blunt fakie? But. Yeah, but I got so many tricks in, like this one. Very first trick. 360 flip, lip slide. You can see he's a little bit affected by being in the finals like here. A little bit hustling, a little bit shaky. But he made the big tricks. Scores in 8.7. That's a great score to put in from the run section. That's one of the higher scores we've seen here in the finals. Take a look at the current standings. After two runs, best tricks yet to come. Nigel Houston up on top with that 17.8, followed by Yuto Horagome and Carlos Ribeiro. Carl, Kev, Kelvin Hoffler, Miles Silvis, Deshaun, Torrey, and Joslin rounding out the top eight. Nigel's already got his ticket to the Super Crown. He's trying to get a, a ticket for his friends, I guess. Here's the upcoming tour schedule. We're moving to Chicago, August 13th. Tune in and then wrapping up the year in Los Angeles with the Super Crown World Championship, September 15th. Get your tickets now. Be there. Be there or be square. So Nigel Houston taking the lead after the run section. When we return, the order will switch. Nigel's going to be the last skater. Yuto will be the second last skater. This battle is brewing here in the finals. Stick around. Best trick coming up next. Welcome back to Munich, Germany, the land of beer and bratwurst and beamers. The Super Crown standings, Nigel Houston and Louis Lopez have golden tickets. And then Shane O'Neill, Kelvin Hoffler, Luan, Felipe Tiago, and Tommy, those round out the top eight as they stand tonight. But Carlos Ribeiro in ninth is here in the finals. You got Chris Joslin in the finals with Tori Tudwell. So anything can happen. I think that leaderboard is going to change up quick tonight. Yuto and Deshaun Jordan blasted into the league at the Pro Open, making the final and making noise. Let's get a better handle on Street League's two newest pros. So we ended up here because we uh, qualified with the two highest scores at the Pro Open. And uh, now we're part of the Street League tour. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people were uh, expecting Utah to come out swinging. So I was hyped to be able to skate with him. I was hyped that he made it in there with me. He killed it like all weekend, and he got top three, which was awesome for his first time in street league, especially as an amateur. So I don't think a lot of people were, was expecting him to do that well, and he killed it. My goal at the Pro Open was to just make it into the tour. Like I didn't plan on making the finals and going that far with the whole thing. And then making it in the finals was just a plus, but I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish and what my goal was, getting the opportunity to go skate there. And I'm hyped, like, I mean, I just remember watching this contest the whole time and just wanting to be in and skate with all these dudes. And I'm skating in it with some of my favorite skaters. So it's like, I'm hyped to, to be able to have this opportunity. Hell yeah, you too. <laughs> and you want to say anything? Nah, he said it's okay. <laughs> this is an amazing, amazing crowd here tonight in Germany cheering on Yuto and Deshaun.
Let's talk about how this contest works. There are two sections to Street League, the run section and the best trick. Each skater gets two 45 second runs, which we've seen, and now five best trick attempts coming up. The top four scores from each skater, regardless of the section, then get totaled to give the skaters their final score. Those are the basics, presented by Nike SB. Best trick section, five attempts, Top four scores overall count. Chris Joslin is going to be the first skater in. And you know, he excels in best trick. He's coming into this with no pressure because he's in eighth, or he's got all the pressure in the world. Depends how you want to see it, Jeff. What do you think? Well, I think in the prelims, he kind of played the game. He did one a trick that he did a super long gap to grind. He learned he was going to get some good high scoring points for that. That's a huge backside kick flip. Wow. That was massive. He did that so well. And there's your example right there. Big air time. And if you flip it too, you're going to get a great score. Big backside kick flip. He got his feet on so early. It's like a backside 180. 8.2 for Chris Joslin. And there you go. He's on the hunt. Moving him straight up into first place, but he's the only skater to have three scores on the board. So far, Torrey Pudwell is now in eighth place. That's okay, you still got one good score on there, Torrey. You can make that up in a moment. That big backside 360 Ollie. Deshaun Jordan, a little confused with the format, he said, my turn. Deshaun's in seventh place. He needs a 4.9 to take the lead from Jocelyn. Oh, 360 kick flip, no slide. Jamming that one, and then he's stoked he made that. He's like, stoked thank to goodness the lead. that one worked. Mm -hmm. Does that close up slow mo, tray flip. Incredible. Yeah, that one's going to get a great score. 8.4 8.4 and Deshaun Jordan moves into the lead with a 22.3 way out ahead of Chris Joslin's 18.7 Miles Silvis needs a 7.0 for first he is in seventh place I would have movement. to say this is one of Miles strengths like Chris Joslin the single tricks where they can just show you their abilities to do things that other guys can't do agreed like that one right there, the nollie back 180 to switch 50-50. Very awkward trick. You can see, look, he's looking where he's going to go, and then everything else is blind. Just <laughs> misses that front truck. Almost going into a switch front feeble. Let's see if that, yep, the judges saw that, I think. Regardless, he rolled out of it. 7.6 is still a solid score. Solid enough to put him in first place with a 23. And Kelvin Hoffler coming in in seventh place. He needs a 6.9 for first, so a lot of movement on the leaderboard until these guys put up four scores. This is Kelvin's first best trick attempt of five. Oh, mm. going for the cap backside nose bun, perhaps? Or do you think that was backside nose grind? Uh, uh, you know what? I've, he's done a lot of cab back nose grinds, but that did look to be a cab back nose blunt. Looks like you got a little bit injured right there. Carlos Ribeiro. On deck. Gearing up for a nolly. Oh, there we get it again. The nolly 180 to Bennett grind. That is a beautiful trick. And you're right, Jeff. He does not miss those tricks. He's got those unlocked. Nolly back 180, faky nose grind. Nolly Bennett's. And he does them focus. properly. Look how much he dips that down. Locks in, comes out cleanly, keeps that speed. Little bit of compression. 8.8, .8, and that's why. Goes into it fast, comes out of it fast. It's a lot harder to do tricks when you're moving at speed. You have Surprise. to move a lot faster, think a lot faster. New leader, Carlos Ribeiro. And Uto's in, coming in in six, needs an 8.6. What? And there's that nolly cap to switch tail. How good is Uto? Oh, that's one of those tricks, man. Only a few people kind of do those kinds of tricks. Paul Rodriguez, for example, does a lot of nolly 360s. And the crowd, the crowd is screaming reacting. for that trick. Uto putting in a 9.1 on the Nolly 270 switch back tail. Nine club for Uto. 
Oh, he's starting to bring the heat right now. The question is what's going on in his head and what's going on in Nigel Houston's head right now. Nigel's hustling every time. He's like, dude, I got to bring the bring out the fire. It's what we want. We want to see it. Gap that to was back huge. Set, lip side, that was huge. That is about a 12-foot gap to back lip off. Not a very steep kicker. Fast, long. Let's see what the judges think about that one. And here we have the slow-mo. Full speed, gapping across the backside lip slide, covers the whole rail going down. Very nicely done, Nigel. Sweet as a whistle. Score is in 8.7. That puts Nigel Houston now up on top with a 26.5. But it's close. It's getting closer. We're going to see after one or two more scores are on there, really where we're standing. Pressure will start building on each one of those guys, knowing that they have to make a certain trick at a certain level. And this is the finals. Chris Joslin back in. He's in sixth place, needs a 7.9. He can get that. Oh! Whoa, wow! <laughs> All right, this is a big course, and it's not big enough for Chris. He barely caught the end of that ledge because he went so far. <laughs> And there we'll see the drop down. The whole lead up to this is sick. Over one flat ledge and down. Barely smashed those trucks in. That was almost a slappy. He, he almost just cleared it. Just straight ollie to over it. 8.1 for Joslin. That was really sick and really difficult to do. It was just, yeah, yeah, it was. It was huge. So no problems. Chris Joslin taking the lead. He's the first person to put four scores on the board. t Puds is in eighth place. He needs a 4.9 just for seven. Oh! There's that big old backside 360 all here. Nolly flip manual across the <laughs> whole up and down flat ground. Tori Pudwell is skating so well. Look at that determination. No foot movement, no feet off. Lands bolts, keeps that speed. That was sick. T-Pod's feeling it. 8.1. He's still got some work to do because he only has three scores on the board and he has a 2.7 on one of his run scores. Deshaun Jordan, sitting in sixth place, needs a 4.6 to take the lead. Oh, going for that bigger flip from board slide. Young guys are bringing out those technical rail tricks. And the older dudes are bringing out the heavy hover tricks. There you see the difference. Right. The, right. You know, when you're going for those heavy tech tricks, though, you better be feeling confident and solid on your board, because if you're not, you see what happens. Miles Silvas, he's in fifth, needs a 3.9. Oh, oh, going for the switch backside heel, flip the tail slide. Needs to get another high eight plus on there, which he's totally capable of doing. Every one of these guys is skating so well today. Kelvin Hoffler down in eighth place. And that kick flip front side lunch line. Kelvin's playing the game like he's a seasoned veteran. He's like, what do I need right now? OK, oh, this one will cover it. He's the ultimate. Kick flip front side lunch line fakey. Kelvin, 8.0. 8.0. He's in fifth place, but not far off the lead. Kelvin's got a 24.2. Joslin's in first with a 26.8. Carlos Ribeiro looking for his first SLS win here. He's in fourth, needs a 1.5 to take the lead. <laughs> That's that was insane. It. That was insane. Switch back side nose one slide. He's got it like that. My goodness. That's some heavy hitting skateboarding. Now we have a slow mo of this one. Just look at how high you have to go up to lock into that trick. And then controlling that head balance is difficult in that trick. You see, it kind of almost slams him down. 8.8 .8 for Carlos. 
and he takes the lead way out there in front with a 34.2. Joslin in second with a 26.8. Yuto Horagome in fourth place, needs an 8.3 for first. Now, what would that be called? A Uto switch front 180 to feeble, huh? Yeah, switch 180 to feeble It's hard to, to get grind. to. If you can get into the feeble, you're golden. But that's... See, he just doesn't lock in a lot on that one. See, he actually just missed it. Mm. If the judges saw that one, he's going to get a pretty low score. If he gets a high score, he got lucky. He got lucky. He got lucky. He dodged got really a bullet. Lucky pulled right pulled there. a fast one over the judges. 8.7 for Uto. That truck did not lock in, so... You win some, you lose some, and he won that one. Yeah, congratulations. All right, best trick attempt number two for Nigel Houston. He's in fourth place, needs an 8.3 to take the lead. Oh. Going for that kick flip frontside board slide. Saw him do that in the prelims, but then he's gonna do it again in the finals to be right on the top of the game. Stick a fork and attempt to a best trick, Jeff. Three more to come from Munich. True Skate is the official mobile game of Street League Skateboarding. Download the SLS courses today and get busy. See if you can replicate some of Yuto's moves out there. Two attempts in the books with Yuto dropping the hammer with a nine in his first try. Attempt three coming up next. SB World Tour Munich stop. We're in Olympic Park in Germany, home of the 1972 Olympic Games. Let's take a look at our current standings. Yuto Horagome, the rookie, up in first place for the 34.7. He got third place at the Pro Open. His lowest score right now is an 8.0. He is on his way to a golden ticket to the Super Crown if he can hang on to the lead. Nigel Houston only has three scores on the board, and an 8.3 will move him into the lead. So this is far, far from over, Jeff. You got any predictions? What do you think? Is Yuto going to win this? Is Nigel going to come back? Is Deshaun going to win it? I mean, look at the names we have in the finals right here. We have a lot of new dudes or guys that have done pretty good in past Street League contests or SLS contests, but haven't quite been in that first or second spot uh, as frequently like Chris Joslin right here. So it's anybody's game. We're going to find out right now. These are the last tricks. Three best trick attempts left. Two left for Joslin. Going he, down he on the need, back He gig. needs some nines, or he's gonna, he's not going to win it, you know? Right. He's capable of doing it. He just needs to pull out those big guns, go full speed. Big guns. t Pud's coming in next. Needs an average of 8.7. Oh, going for that nollie kick flip backside 5-0, it looked like. That would have been a high scoring point. Tori's going to stay down in eighth place for now. Deshaun Jordan in next. He's down in seventh place. Qualified in first. Needs an average of 8.7. He can do that. And there's the bigger flip frontside board slide. Now that's going to be a high score in high eight, it mid nine. Better be. It better be. That's a difficult one. 9.1 is in nine club. Nine club, Deshaun Jordan. That's his second nine here today. He put one down. The extremely it technical qualifies. rail trick right there. Flipping that's, and spinning. That's an elite group of humans in the world who can put down nines. In the SLS. finals. In the finals. In a big arena with all these skate fans all behind them. That can do it. So Deshaun Jordan in third place. Not far be behind Carlos and Yuto. Miles Silvis is in. Whoa! And that's what we wanted to see. That was beautiful. That was so clean. Switch, heel, flip, back, tail. So coming into that in seventh place with a 23. 
But that's only with three scores on the board, so he's going to be looking at some serious advancement on the leaderboard. Locked in perfectly. I hear a reaction to what I think might be nine point nine one. club member. <laughs> nine point one. Welcome to the club, Miles. It's tricks like that that get you in it. Miles moves up into third place, bumping Deshaun into fourth. That's heavy. Kelvin Way Hoffler. to put the heat on the Kelvin Hoffler on deck. He only has three scores on the board. He needs an average of 8.8 .8 for first. He's in seventh. He's the 2015 Super Crown champ. He's no stranger to putting it down when it counts. Hey, half cap no slide. Switching it around to back tail. We see him do that one in the best trick on a lot of different hovers. He's Proud got that in his back man. pocket. He can pull that one out whenever he wants it. And that was good timing for Kelvin Hoffler. Now that's a cool trick, nice combination, but it's not as difficult as some of the other tricks we just saw. That it's, bigger flip to front board, <laughs> and the judges know the crowd's going wild because it's a cool one to see, flashy. but it is not as hard as some of those last tricks. 8.7, still a pretty good score. Amazing score. Kelvin Hoffler now up in third place. Happy enough with that, he's not complaining. Carlos Rivero coming in in second place. He's in ninth in the race for the Super Crown. Got four banging scores already on that. Oh! Ooh. Nolly 180, Bennett, Revet all the way around. That could, that, that'll be huge if he makes that. He that has will be huge. Two tries left. And now, now what does he do tactic-wise? Did he stick on that one or does he move on to another trick? He, he can do that next try easy. So I, I, if I was his coach, I'd tell him to stick on it and make it. Uto, your current leader. Uto! Oh. Well, I don't think anybody in this whole arena has seen that one coming. Nolly in with heel flip. He is well on his way <laughs> to taking this contest. What is going on? No one saw it coming because I haven't seen, I don't think anyone's seen him do that. You know, trip. the cameraman barely got it. He, he just dropped straight in, boom. Crowd certainly seen it there. It is. Look how smooth he did that. And the crowd is booing at this something. This crowd is passionate. It's a bunch of lizard kings out here. Yuto getting the 8.8. .8. He is still in first place with a 35.5. More than a point ahead of Carlos Ribeiro in second place. I think, well, Nigel needs a 9.1 for first. He's in seventh place. <sighs> oh, it's a fakey. That will most likely do it. I mean, that talk about how difficult that is, Jeff. Well, it's got a little bit of everything right. Technical as you're going fast into a low flat rail, a lot of room for error. And then 20 foot slide, going flat then down. So you have to adjust your speed and then to pull it fakey. That's a great score right there. He gets a nine, nine club. Again a and nine again. Point zero. I'd say the judges got that one right. The fact that he came out fakey made it that much more difficult to control. And that's what got it, that 9.0. So I perfect. have to agree with them. He did it very, very well, kept full speed. Oh, I fully agree. And that is Nigel's third nine of the day. And he moves into second place. Same score as Yuto. Tiebreak puts him in second. Okay, fourth attempt here. Best trick in the finals. The SLS Nike SB World Tour Munich. Back to the top of the order, Chris Joslin. Coming in in seventh place. Oh, oh, big old big spin. So Joslin needs an average 9.7 for first. That is, I mean, I don't know, that might be well outside the realm, but this is a, this is a good effort. Well, it's going to take him up the leaderboard. The more he gets those high scoring points, he has one more chance. He's just working his way up right now. He's going to have a hard time to really get in the first place with some Chris, of those other scores. Chris gets a 8.6, meaning he is technically not able to win on his last attempt. T Puds sitting in eighth place. Oh, mm. went really fast into that one, Tori. They're just losing that flow. This is a long day for these guys. 
prelims straight into finals in this heat. Tori was handling it really, really well early, all the way through. So T-Puds T -Puds can't win either. Deshaun Jordan is in, needs a 9.4 for first. Trying to laser heel. Off the flat bank over the big tranny. So Deshaun has one best trick attempt left. Miles Silvis in next in fifth place. Needs a 9.2 average for first, so he's got to put some hammers down. This is his first ever SLS final. He's handling it well. I like the way he's switching it up, too. He's going from both sides of the course. Oh, oh man. Missing the flick. Still has one more attempt. The best he can do now is third place, and he's got to drop the hammer just to get that. Hey, that would be great to see. Uh -huh. Miles in third place, that would be great. Let's hope he makes that last trick. And this is where Kelvin usually shines when that pressure's on him and he pulls out those bigger tricks. Oh. Hit that 180 backside nose grind. Close, but not. So, Kelvin is eliminated from a chance to win also. Best he can do is third place. He's in fourth. It's gonna take a lot to get there. Carlos Ribeiro. Right now, he's on the podium in third place. Needs a 9.6 to move up. Let's see if he goes back to this. No, he looks like nope. he's switching it up. Oh, oh going for the flip. switch flip back side nose. He should have gone for that Bennett grind Riva because he was very close to that. I don't know that that was going to get him a 9.6, but still. All right, let's talk about Yuto and Nija. Final, second final best trick attempts for both of these guys. They're tied right now with a 35.5, but Yuto wins the tie break because he has a 9.1. That's the highest score of the day. And Yuto is in for his second last best trick attempt. Oh. <laughs> Nolly. Going for the nolly all the way around to you. Yeah, I don't know what you call that, but he went for it. Now that's going to switch things up a little bit right here. If Nigel can put it, another high score, especially a nine on there, it's going to switch that heat. He knows. Look at him. He's sweating. He's like, I got to do this. Let's see it. He Let's needs get to make it, it happen. 8.8 .8 will get him the lead right now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. That was amazing. That was amazing. I want to see a still of that in the air. That was incredible. Kick, lip, backside, lip slide. That was incredible. Start to finish. 9.39 club. Number four for Nigel. Let's sit back and look at this. Well, he's pulling out the best that he's got right there. The kick flip backside lip slide. Keeps it going. About as fast as you could go and then gets lucky he doesn't flip outside the whole course. Land in the parking lot outside. And he did it so well, too. Nigel Houston literally launching his way into first place. Fifth attempt still to come. Nigel Houston going for his 19th win. <laughs> wow. He's enjoying the moment. Yeah. I like to see it. Oh, he's thankful that he made the trick and he didn't get wrecked out there. Here are your current standings. Once again, Nigel Houston up on top with a 36.1, followed by the rookie Yuto Horigome from Japan and Carlos Ribeiro rounding out your top three. Kelvin, Miles, Deshaun, Joslin, and t -Puds all in the hunt, trying to make it to the Super Crown. And Nigel Houston with another nine. That makes three of them already. And when we come back, it's attempt number five. And the question is, will Nija get his second win in a row here on the SLS World Tour? Street League Skateboarding Nike SB World Tour Munich has been brought to you by Nike SB. And in part by Monster Energy.
And this is it. Final attempts in best trick here in the finals at the Nike SB World Tour Munich stop. Nigel Houston way out in the lead with a 36.1. And there are two skaters here who can take that lead away from him, Jeff. Both of them the rookies, Deshaun and Yuto. But first, Chris Joslin, he's not done yet. No, he's, he's gearing up for getting down. Joslin's going fast right here. Front side kick. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Now that was a huge frontside kick there. The crowd loves it. What a great crowd we have here. This is one of the best SLS contests we have ever seen. One of the best finals in SLS history. These guys are all going off. So That's Jocelyn what we want to see. Needs a 9.4 for third. He gets a nine, and that moves him up into fourth place. And that is going to be good for Super Crown points. Look at that. Ah, he has to catch it, bone it, and push it to cover that distance. Watch. Look Watch the speed. way he did it. Had to do it that way to cover it. Incredible. Keep that speed. Keep that momentum. That's a great score. That was about as far and as fast as you can take that trick, so that's what we know it gets scored. Agreed. Tori Pudwell. He's in eighth. That is where he's gonna stay. But this is for the homies, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Indy, gra Indy grabs Indy a back Smith. Smith. Never seen that one MVD before. MVD at Street League, for oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. Of course, it's Tory psyching the crowd out. Somebody is stoked to get that T-Puds pro model and hat. So rad to see T-Puds back here in SLS after missing last year, putting it down here in the finals in Munich. Deshaun Jordan. Up next, needs a 10 for first place. Oh! <laughs> laser. Going for that big old laser flip. Deshaun Jordan putting on an amazing that. show, throwing his board to the crowd. Careful, everyone. Be careful. What a showing out here from Deshaun Jordan. He's going to finish in seventh place. And that has nothing to sneeze at. Two back-to-back -back finals for the rookie. And Miles Silvas on deck. Needs a 9.4 for third. He is in sixth place. Oh. And in sixth place, Miles will stay. Well, that's a great confidence builder there for Miles in the finals. He knows he can do it now. So as we work down the list here, Yuto Horigome is the only skater here who can take the lead back from Nige Houston. It's gonna be, it's gonna take a lot. He needs a 9.4, but first, Kelvin Hoffler. Oh, going for the same trick again, gets away from him. I think Carlos, if he pulls out one of those crazy hopper tricks right in here, could really switch it up a little bit. Agreed. Kelvin Hoffler gonna stay in fifth place. Again, he's been putting it down this year after missing almost all of 2016 due to injury. And now, Carlos Ribeiro, he is in third place. He can, he can improve into second, but he needs a 9.6. Question is, what's he gonna try to do to get there? Well, we're about to find out. A lot of times it comes down to these final tricks for these guys. And going for the same one, the switch flip back said nose plum slide. You gotta respect that. Going for broke right there. Great showing for Carlos here today. Very smooth all the way through. Start to finish, top to bottom. Carlos Ribeiro is gonna finish in third place on the podium. And then there were two. Yuto Horagome up next. He needs a 9.4 to take the lead from Nigel Houston, who's going for his 18th SLS victory and trying to go back to back. Yuto, the rookie, he was on the podium in Barcelona and he wants a win here, but it's gotta be big. Penny for those thoughts. Oh! oh! Almost. That could have potentially done it. And there is your leader we have your winner. winner. Nija Houston, back to back. Barcelona Pro Open first place, Munich World Tour.
Nigel Houston, first place. Congratulations. He might be going for the sweep this year like he did in 2014, Jeff. Well, a well-deserved win right there for Nigel, but he felt that heat all the way through, which is good for the league. It's good for the season. This is one of the best contests I have seen in years. Let's take a look at our final results. Nigel Houston with a 36.1. That score is huge. Followed by Yuto Horigome from Japan with a 35.5. And Carlos Ribeiro, what an amazing top three. Rounding out the top eight, Chris Joslin, Hoffler, Miles Silvis, Deshaun Jordan, and T Puds. Now let's throw it down to Andrew Cannon. Down here right now with our victor, Nigel Houston. Nigel, you fell on that first kickflip front board. You got the next one. What was going through your mind rolling into that kickflip back lip? That was honestly just all I had like at the time, you know? Like I didn't practice that at all. I barely even skated that rail, but uh, you know, I had to bring it. Like everyone out there was just hyping me up. Congrats to Utah, congrats to all those dudes. I can't believe that kid's only, I think he's only 18. He's got, uh, he's got plenty of plenty of street leagues to win in the future, so. Well, congratulations, a victory well deserved. Two in a row, back to you boys. Speaking of amazing skateboarding, Monster Energy, highest scoring trick right there from Nigel, 9.3. Full speed kick flip, backside lip slide. And then the mega launch, half back flip. What a way to win it. Here's your overall super crown standing. So once again, Nigel Houston's got the golden ticket. Louis Lopez has his golden ticket, but things got shaken up a little bit here. Kelvin Hoffler in second, Shane O'Neill in third, Carlos Ribeiro jumping up from ninth place. Boom, now he's in the super crown as things stand now. Luan Oliveira in fifth, Felipe Gustavo in seventh, and the bubble boy, Chris Joslin in eighth place, but he came in in 14th, so a vast improvement. Tiago Lemos now trying to claw his way into Super Crown. T Puds in 10th, Chris Cole, all those guys. They got work to do. Now let's take a look what's coming up for the rest of the season. We're going to Chicago next in August. Chicago, Illinois, World Tour stop number two. And then wrapping it up this year, the Super Crown World Championships in Los Angeles, September 15th. Cannot wait. Once again, an absolutely huge congratulations goes out to all the skaters here in the finals, but especially Nigel Houston for taking the win here today in Munich. Going to the Super Crown for Jeff Rowley and Andrew Cannon and all of us at SLS. I'm Paul Zitzer. Thanks so much. See you in Chicago.